I'm Bill Wong with Electronic Design, and we're going to find out how you can get by without having to mow your lawn, or actually get a robot to do it. Could you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see here? Oh, absolutely. So my name is Todd Zimmerman mm -hmm. with Work, um, and it's nice to talk. The best thing that we're going to introduce you to today is we currently have a Landroid. It works with Landroid in the business in the market today, right? Mm -hmm. We've given Landroid sight, and that's what we're launching this year. It's Landroid Vision. What we're introducing is an HD camera that's working with the neural network to eliminate the need for boundary wire installation. So no boundary wire installation, no collision, works in any type of weather, and also works at night. That's excellent. Now, what kind of uh, sensors do you have on the system? There's a, the biggest thing that we're using is the camera to identify what's grass and not grass. Mm -hmm. And as it's working, the camera is shooting pointing down, four feet out, three and a half feet wide. These are the charging sensors. So when it pulls into the dock, it's actually pulling in this way to charge. All right. This is the battery port or the battery storage. You just lift it up and use any works power share battery. So it's part of the power share platform. You have the control panel here, start, home, power, and then your selection mode. So you can go in and set time, dates. You can even set the schedule from here, but you can use your app, which is a lot easier to set the schedule for when you want it to work. Uh, the emergency stop button. Um, and then we also have the cut to edge technology. So the biggest thing here is on our cut to edge, as you can see, we're using flail blades, right? So we have three razor blades. The deck is offset to get to your cut to edge. It's also a floating deck to help us overcome the um, Normalities in your yard so that those little smaller bridges so it won't get stuck. The other part is, is from a uh, spec standpoint, it'll raise and lower from 1.5 inches at the lowest to 3.5 inch cutting. So it's basically looking to understand what's in front of it and learn the environment and it's detecting what's not grass. So if there's a tennis ball, a basketball, a pet that's laying there, it's going to know that it's not moving and avoid it itself. So there's no more bump sensors that you have to worry about. It's all based on using the HD camera that we're using for vision. Now I hear you have a number of different ones for larger areas, but you have a, the ability to have them cooperate? Uh, we do. On the, we have a party mode in the app that allows the units to work together. So that way they don't overlap. In their... Correct. Now they'll actually overlap a little in the mowing program, but you want them to just to make sure that you're getting the color. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so an automatic docking station or something? It does. So when the battery starts to get low, it detects the battery being low, and it'll automatically go back to the docking station to recharge. Great. Well, thanks for showing us the uh, robot. Absolutely. Thank you.